This is Tennis 24-7's Beginner's Guide to Buying a Tennis Racket. There's three pillars when it comes to choosing a racket. Your strings, your grip size and of course the correct frame. The grip size and the strings you can see the links below in the description of this video where you'll be able to focus on those in more detail. There's different rules when it comes to buying rackets. We're going to give you six basic rules to remember when buying a tennis racket. Rule number one, forget what you see on TV. What you see on TV is not always what you get. The rackets for the pros are customized and optimized for their needs. Each racket is tailored, it's engineered to their specific needs. Number two, try before you buy. Don't buy straight off the shelf, unless you have a recommendation by an equipment specialist like Tennis 24-7. In the event that you can't come out to us and do the test, it's understandable if you're in the outlying area, a good idea is to go to your club, borrow a few rackets and do a test over a short period on one given day. That way you get an idea of what is your weight that is ideal for you. Number three, know about your racket. Rackets are very technical. Next to a golf stick or a Formula One car, a tennis racket has a lot of variables. Weight, balance, beam, string pattern, grip size, there's many more. In this video below in the description, you'll see a link that will give you all the details about rackets. Number four, brands. Each brand has different technology and engineering. Some tech will suit you better than me. The best way to do this is by testing different brands. Guys, remember, if you have any questions, get in touch with us via Facebook, email, give us a shout, and we'll answer your questions on these forums. Number five, the big five. The correct recipe of a racket. Many players are getting this recipe wrong. The ideal way is control from the frame and power from the strings. This is the optimum setup. Optimum because the current rackets are all designed around this recipe. With the opposite, you'll be at high risk of arm injury. In addition to this, you also won't be getting the maximum performance from equipment. An optimized setup will allow for better string performance. In a separate video, we'll be touching on more about the strings, but the strings are really important in a racket. This makes up 60% of the, of the overall racket. The frame is only 40%, but your frame is the platform. Another rule of thumb is to play with the heaviest option that is still comfortable. So while you're testing, go back to the heaviest one that is still good for your swing. With the incorrect weight of racket, you'll find that you're missing something. But when you get the correct weight bracket, all of a sudden magic starts to happen. And I said magic, not miracles. Number six, again, try before you buy. This is critical. Every player has what we call a weight bracket, a weight zone. So yours might be 270 to let's say 275, maybe 20 grams. Mine might be 310 to 320. It's very difficult to find this weight bracket on your own, make your own decision. This is why we offer a tailor fitting experience whereby you meet us on court, we go through a whole range of demo rackets across the brands and find what is the optimum solution for you, frame, strings and tension. I want to say good luck, but you don't need it. You need to speak to an equipment specialist. Thanks for watching.